Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Thank you, I want my audience to know that Kirsten Hoyt is the Academic Dean, College of Information Systems and Technology, and she's here to talk about cyber scams. It's the holidays, Dr. Hoyt. Well, I don't know if you're Dr. Hoyt, but I know you're Dean Hoyt. What's going, what's going on, and how do we protect our identity with sh- when shopping online? Well, you know, there's a, a whole lot more activity uh, during the holiday season. So this week, leading into the Christmas holidays, Um, A lot more people are shopping, a lot more people are doing shopping online, and the risk just increases uh, during this time because of that, you know, just the increased volume. Um, Biggest threats to um, your your personal identifiable information really happen through a couple of places. One is through your password, and the other is through the public Wi-Fi networks. How do we secure our passwords then? Because everything asks us for a password. It does ask you for a password. And it's, it's simple things uh, like um, making sure that your password isn't your dog's name or your son's name, um, making sure your password is more complex, it's got capital letters, lowercase letters, characters in it, and that you change your password often because the longer you keep a password, the more time uh, somebody who might be hacking that account has to decipher that, that password. And how do we spot these emails that are uh, phishing or Pilsing, as they call them. Right. So phishing emails, they, they are deliberately hard to spot. Uh, that's, that's the whole nature of the person who sent it wants, it to, wants it to seem to you like it is something that you would want to open up. So it's, it, it's, it's, it's to compel you to open it. The biggest thing to realize with those phishing emails is that um, most reputable companies will not ask you for your credit card information, your social security number, any of that information via an email. And they won't ask you to click on a link. They'll usually ask you to call somebody. And that's the, the, probably the biggest recommendation is if, it's, you know, if it comes in and it's your mortgage company or it's your banking company and you just suspect it at all of being something that's not truthful, um, pick up the phone and call that company and ask them, did you send this? Is this real? And if it's not, report it to them because they, they then can uh, take actions on it. Wi-Fi is a really big deal. You know, yes. uh, our, our providers say, yeah, you know, get free Wi-Fi or, or Wi-Fi. What are some of the risks of using Wi-Fi? So Wi-Fi in your home where you have your own network, your own login, and you have security uh, in place around your home network is one thing. But going out into public Wi-Fi actually opens you up for risk. And the risks are that there are devices out there that it can actually sit and on somebody's computer and listen to the traffic that's going on. So when you have an open Wi-Fi network, like the coffee shop, like the airport, you will find, you can find somebody there just listening to the traffic that's going on. So if you're shopping online or if you're going into your bank account, it's capturing your username and password, it's capturing your credit card information, and that just opens you up to risk. I understand your company did a cybersecurity survey. What can we learn as, um, you know, end users? So there are several things that we learned. One was uh, nearly 47% of the people that we interviewed or we surveyed have been hacked. Um, so, and that's up from 44% last year. So that's, um, you know, just the, the risk is, we know the risk is out there. We have a lot of people who have been hacked. And then, uh, but the interesting piece about that is that only 25% of the respondents are actually investing in any kind of in, uh, protection for that. So it's, we know that there's this risk out there. Nearly half of us have been breached, and yet very few of us are still protecting ourselves from it. To get more information as people start to do their holiday shopping, where would you send them online? 
Well, I will tell you that Norton.com uh, uh, has a site, on uh, a location on their website that allows you to put a, a web address in and see if it's, um, if it's a safe website. Um, the other place that I would, the other thing I would tell you is that um, there is a 209,000 person shortage in the cybersecurity industry. So if you're looking to join this industry and start prevent, preventing some of this risk, go to phoenix.edu slash technology. Kristen Hoyt, thank you so very much and help my audience be safer for the holidays. Thank, thank you very much. Happy holidays.